Science 5. The Urinary and Excretory System. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Identify and learn about the organs that make up the human excretory system. 2. Trace the process through which urine is produced. 3. Recognize the common disorders of the urinary system. 4. Give healthful habits that promote proper functioning of the excretory and urinary system. Can you imagine how your body looks like if you just continue eating and drinking for days without going to the toilet to pee or poop? You will not have enough space for food and drink for the next days as your body fills up with garbage from wastes and excess materials from what you have taken in. Letting the pee and poop to stay too long in your body can also damage many of your body organs. To prevent this situation, your body has a system that serves as the garbage collector and processor. This is the excretory system. Organs of the excretory system. Excretion is the process of removing wastes in our bodies. You experience this as exhaling to release carbon dioxide, sweating to release sweat, defecating to release poop or feces, and urinating to release urine. Collection and excretion of wastes from the body are the main functions of the excretory system. These functions help keep the balance of nutrients and other substances in the body. The organs of the excretory system include lungs, or a paired organs in the respiratory system that remove waste from the blood called carbon dioxide and release it outside the body through exhalation. Liver is an organ of the digestive system that processes protein, a macronutrient from our food. This activity produces waste materials that the liver also processes to become urea. The liver releases urea into the bloodstream to be delivered to the kidney. The liver also removes dangerous materials from blood, such as toxins from medicine and some harmful microbes, to keep the blood healthy and clean. Large intestine is a part of the digestive tract, which absorbs water from undigested food and forms the feces. Feces accumulate in the rectum and are released from the body through the anus. Skin is an organ of the integumentary system that releases extra water and salt from the body as sweat through the sweat glands. Kidney is the major organ of the excretory system, specifically the urinary system. This paired bean-shaped organs near your backbone collect and produce urine from waste and excess materials collected from the blood. Parts of the urinary system. The urinary system removes and collects unnecessary materials, filter, from the blood and processes them to become liquid waste called urine or pee. It has four major parts that help perform the tasks of this body system. The pair of kidneys has units called nephrons that remove and collect excess water, salt, and minerals from the blood to keep the right amount of these nutrients in the body. They also collect the toxic urea, waste material from the liver, from the blood. These collected waste materials form the urine in the kidney. The pair of ureters carry urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder or bladder is a hollow organ in the lower abdomen, which serves as the temporary storage of urine before releasing it from the body. The urethra is the passageway where urine exits the body from the bladder. Care for the urinary and excretory system. 1. Drink plenty of glasses of water daily. Avoid delaying thirst. Thirst is a signal that your body needs more water. 2. Wear clean underwear every day to prevent infection in your urinary tract. Unclean underwear may become breeding places of harmful bacteria that can infect your genitals. 3. 
keep a regular bowel movement and urination. Use clean restrooms or clean the toilet rim before using it to prevent infections. 4. Avoid too salty foods because they can overwork your kidneys. Disorders of the urinary system. The urinary tract infection, UTI, is a condition when bacteria infect a part of the urinary system, such as the bladder, kidneys, ureters, and urethra. Unhygienic practices, kidney stones, and other urinary and bowel problems increase the chances of being infected with UTI. Kidney stones are hard stones that can form from minerals and other substances extracted by the kidneys from the blood. If they are small, the kidney can easily release them through urination. Problems occur when the stone gets bigger which can block the urinary tract, causing painful urination or bleeding. An unhealthy diet, intake of some medicines, and other diseases in the urinary system or conditions that cause increased minerals in the body may lead to kidney stone formation. Kidney failure is the permanent loss of kidney function of both the kidneys, so it cannot filter and collect wastes from the blood. Having excess water, minerals, and toxins in the blood for a long time may lead to imbalances that can affect the normal functioning of the body. Other health problems like diabetes, urinary tract problems, overusing medications, cardiovascular problems may lead to kidney failure. In these cases, the patient needs a new healthy kidney, through kidney transplantation, or a regular medical procedure that will perform the tasks of a kidney, called hemodialysis. A nephrologist is a doctor that helps take care of the kidneys. Visit a nephrologist when experiencing any of the following, painful urination, lower abdominal pain, having dark orange, red, or brown urine. Practice exercise. Answer the following question. Label each part of the urinary system. Number the organs following the order to which the urine is formed and released from the body. Correct. Give the other four organs of the excretory system and the waste material they process. Correct. Lungs for carbon dioxide. Liver for urea and toxins of the blood. Large intestine for feces. Skin for sweat. <laughs>